They say if you hold your breath in your sleep, you eventually suffocate in real life. We spend one third of our lives asleep, dreaming, physically paralyzed while our minds are kept in a state of limbo which do not obey the laws of the real world, but rather embraces the powers of the imagination and ventures into the unknown. Dreams are unpredictable. They can be a gateway to our needs, wants and joys, but also to our fears. The things you fear are often what you see in your nightmares. Fears that could leave you paralyzed.
So the nightmares began when you were younger, but as you grew older, the nightmares became more frequent and more violent. Yeah, that's right, Doctor. I have a fear of my nightmares. I drink tea and coffee, I even take pills, so I don't have to go to sleep. So these are some of the things that you could try. Um, I've heard from numerous other professionals that some ways you could fight against these nightmares, these night terrors is by maybe you're, you have a fear of being paralyzed. Yeah. Try and break free from that paralysis. Try maybe, I don't know, move a finger, a toe, even if it's just a leg. If it's a body part, try and move it. Fight back against the control your nightmare has over you. Um, mm -hmm. You could try regulating your breathing. Um, I've heard holding your breath can work, because that should mm. help wake you up. Why do you fear something that isn't real? This is all in your head. These nightmares come from your head. It feels real to me. The sense of being paralyzed, it, just the sense of, I can't move, just, it just panics me. Why do they panic you?
medicated. Let's get medicated. Let's get medicated. Let's get medicated.